Yeah guys, so this new type of undercoating system is called virilization. Uh, that's how my, my friend Warren calls it actually. Um, because I like to undercoat stuff and protect everything. So that's what I did right now to this car. And uh, it was pretty simple. I mean, you just grab a wheel bearing, grease, and you grab some used oil. And you're gonna need a brush and then that's it. I mean, you just start going underneath everywhere. And same thing over here, you check these pockets and you know you coat everything right there and i'm ready to actually put this whole thing back i gotta clean some of this trunk stuff um other than that it's all good it's all protected i'm pretty happy about that uh so yeah so if you have old school benzes or any other cars you know like pull the trunk all right so yeah so if you have uh, any old school benzes or you know any other cars you know pull the trunk liners you know inspect everything you know coat everything protect everything it's gonna last for years years and years okay because you have to keep in mind i mean you can't just drive these cars you know you have to maintain them you have to you know love them you have to uh you know restore them and save them uh so that's what we do here at vito's garage and hopefully you know you guys are doing the same thing and you know even talking about you know for example the window seals you know they go bad you know start leaking and everything all the water sits in the uh you know trunk pockets and you get all these problems later on like on my cherry pie where you know those the pockets in the trunk they're actually like rusted out so i'm gonna have to cut them and then i have to weld new pieces to it but long story short this could have been prevented you know if previous owners were you know you know they could at least care a little more but they did not care so they didn't they did not inspect you know anything for rust they did not inspect you know the trunk pockets or anything like that so it really sucks uh but here's the cherry pie it's my baby oh my gosh uh yeah can't wait to restore you you know it looks so good I did a paint job weld the floors everything um i already found some new pieces for the interior you know that i was missing the left front driver's seat uh, basically uh, was is a blue color and should be tan. So I found one piece, a cushion, the back cushion for it already. So that's good. Just gonna be looking for the bottom cushion now. Uh, yeah, everything else is pretty good. Uh, both of them are here. And actually I'm gonna lower the, this car in a second. Um, but I'm so happy about the results. I'm so happy that I, you know, um, undercoated the cars you know actually it's a it's kind of a great feeling you know you work on the car you fix something it's a great feeling so i think it happens the same to you guys doesn't it so taking wheel bearing grease and the brush and just coating everything with wheel bearing grease like so really good stuff and don't worry, I'm not gonna use this wheel, wheel bearing grease on, any, on anything critical like wheel bearings or anything like that. This is a specifically gonna be used for coating the body under carriage. One eternity later. All right, guys. So here we go. This is kind of like a Vito's garage special. I still need to finish a little more stuff. But long story short, uh, I got this whole area pretty much coated, especially these rocker uh, panels right there. And this part, I coated the control arms. You guys know you have to check your control arms because they have they like uh, to rust out in the shock absorber area they like to rust out in that area right there so this whole thing was coated also uh, it's kind of hard to get to the inside but I painted that area right there so I'm waiting for it to dry and then at the end 
the reason why you see this pan here is I'm actually probably gonna also pour some used oil in there because oil is a lubricant so it's gonna protect it from rusting as well so it's actually a really good thing to do to coat the whole area uh, you know and then you can also use the fluid film but I want to try the wheel bearing grease see how that does and uh, yeah it's a really good idea to do it especially on old school cars you know to preserve everything uh, it's a really good idea so if you guys have these cars you should do the same thing um, and uh, also in the future I'll be uh, uh, you know I'll be actually uh, uh, you know removing the whole rear subframe uh, I'm gonna be probably removing the engine because I need to uh, you know re kind of not really rebuild it probably I'm gonna you know put new timing chains I'm gonna put uh, you know a lot of all the new gaskets in there reseal the whole engine put it back together so um, this car is waiting for everything uh, you know it's gonna come someday uh, uh, but for now I just want to preserve it nicely at least so it doesn't uh, doesn't keep rusting or anything like that so yeah and then I'm gonna also need to replace the brake lines the brake lines are actually pretty bad uh, they're actually all pretty rusty so that's not a good thing these are fine just the ones that are going to the back they're actually pretty rusty so uh, I'll probably have to go to the dealership and order the ones uh, the brand new ones from Germany uh, so I can install them uh, it's really important actually on these old Mercedes all of them pretty much that have these trailing arms in the back is as you can see I lubricated everything and even down there everywhere yeah uh, okay so long story short um, uh, those spots right there where the shock absorber mounts are located they like to rust out so what I'm gonna do uh, is I already lubricated everything with grease but it's so hard to get there too and I painted some in there okay so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna put some used oil in there and as you can see I have the drain pan so I'm gonna pour oil in there okay so that way it gets stays lubricated and it stays protected I'm gonna do it on both sides so I, yeah so I'm gonna show you in a second how it looks all right guys here you go used oil all right and I'm just gonna start pouring it down there everywhere it's a really good thing to do on these cars way that thing stays lubricated and protected just pour it in that hole as you can see it drains out to the drain pan and that's good amazing stuff okay amazing stuff so my friend Warren calls it vitalization okay which means that you protect the whole car from rusting by using you know specific products like you know wheel bearing grease other stuff fluid film so <laughs> that's that's kind of what I'm doing and then you can then grab like a rag and uh, wipe the excess off if you need to but I'm gonna leave it like that and let it soak in even if you live in California it doesn't really matter it's a really good stuff actually to uh, do it to your car um, and it just stays protected it just protects everything so it's really amazing yeah so combination of used engine oil and wheel bearing grease actually does wonders gotta tell you that all right so this paint is kind of drying up so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna again pour oil in there all right pour a lot of oil in there so I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna lubricate everything with wheel bearing grease or fluid film we will see but I guess you might think that I am crazy but I guess I am uh, so here's what I did okay so you can 
can see all of this stuff that's wheel bearing grease and that's actually um some of it is oil used engine oil okay okay look at all this see that stuff that's all used engine oil and wheel bearing grease don't pay attention actually that's too much here i have to wipe it off off of the muffler but all this area coated as much as i could i have to work a little more with all this but it's amazing it's amazing, amazing results mm -hmm. 